Hello everyone, this week is National Tree Week and it's a chance for us to celebrate the trees we have growing here in the UK and we have a great variety of trees here at school for us and we are really, really lucky. I want to show you a few of my favourites, so come and have a look. This tree here is a hazel tree, it's a deciduous tree which means it loses its leaves in winter. I can tell it's a hazel by the shape of its leaves. It's got a round shaped leaf with a pointy tip. Hazel has a great ability to regrow if it's been cut down or even if it's fallen down. You can see here it's been chopped at the bottom and it's grown new shoots and that's called coppicing. And we can use these shoots for all types of things from making crafts and tools to building fences and dens with. Hazel trees also produce hazelnuts, which is a great source of food for squirrels and other animals. If you like Nutella, made with hazelnuts as well. This tree is the field maple. Again, it's a deciduous tree, which means it loses its leaves in winter. And I can tell it's a field maple by the shape of its leaves. It's got these lobes, like the lobes of your ears, and there's five lobes on their leaf. The wood from a field maple tree is really pretty and it's been used for making musical instruments such as harps, but it has an even better use. In the springtime you can tap the tree, that means drilling a hole into it and collecting the sap. Then you can boil that sap into a delicious maple syrup. This is probably my favourite tree we have here in the woods. This is a silver birch tree and it's really easy to identify. You can tell by the colour of its bark, it's got white bark, not like the other trees. And it has triangle shaped leaves. Again, it's a deciduous tree, so it's losing its leaves as we speak. You can peel the paper off the bark and this is great for lighting fires, as is the twigs. If you look on the floor and pick up a few twigs, like here, these are great for getting your fire going. It's been used for all sorts of things, even uh, broomsticks. This is a spruce tree, and it's a bit different from the other trees we've been looking at out in the woods. It's an evergreen tree, which means it keeps its leaves all year round, not like the other trees around us that are deciduous that lose their leaves this time of year in winter. The spruce tree keeps its leaves all year round, and you might know it as a Christmas tree. As you can see here, they have needle-shaped leaves, not like the broad-shaped leaves from deciduous trees. The tradition of bringing evergreen trees into your house this time of year dates back thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians, the ancient Romans, the Vikings and the Saxons all brought evergreen trees into their house this time of year to celebrate the winter solstice and the hope that the evergreen trees bring for new life in the springtime. Now this is only a small spruce tree, I'm going to keep it in this pot for a few more years and once it gets a bit bigger I'll find a nice spot in the woods to plant it. There's an even bigger spruce tree and I wonder if you've seen it. This is a really big Norwegian spruce in Trafalgar Square and it's shipped over from Norway every year as a thank you from the people of Norway to Britain for their support during the Second World War. I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of our trees in the woods. I'm going to go and put some lights around my spruce tree and take it into my tent. See you next time.